Hello YouTubers, my name is Kenny and I'm from Newfoundland, Canada. I'm going to do a review on the Hair uh, 7 inch digital liquid crystal television set. It's the model HLT71 and as you can see, it I'll just show you the box, it's a uh, small high definition uh, television set. It's uh, 720p I believe and this particular one was uh, purchased from uh, Newegg. It's got a 7 inch wide LCD screen, a built in ATSC NTS tuner. Uh, it's got uh, three languages for the on screen display. It has a built in rechargeable battery, telescopic antenna, AV input, remote control, and all the rest of the good stuff. Anyways, this is the unit. It's uh, pretty small. I purchased this one from uh, Newegg and uh, there's not much to really say about it. It's uh, a very small uh, TV in general. And uh, let's see here. Put our antenna on here so we can see it. It, uh, turn it on. At the moment, uh, we only have uh, standard NTSC broadcasting here in my area. And as such, uh, we don't have the uh, ATSC digital here as of uh, this time. It does have a built-in uh, rechargeable battery. Uh, the picture quality on it is actually very good. Uh, I'll extend the antenna now in a second. And um, the operational time on this is approximately two hours, uh, maybe a little bit more. Um, I've used this unit now several times and have gotten I would say roughly between two and two and a half hours um, out of the unit depending on the volume and uh, things like that. It uh, has a built-in lithium-ion uh, rechargeable battery so you don't have to go hunting around trying to find batteries for it or things like that. It's uh, intended for uh, low power operation and uh, it's uh, pretty small, it's convenient and uh, it's a pretty good example of uh, some of the modern day technology that we have. Um, there is one thing, or actually a couple of things that I'll mention about this particular uh, unit is that uh, first of all, let me see how can I explain all these things because it is a very nice uh, product. Um, it does incorporate uh, as we can see here, the usual AV style jack, so if you have any other types of devices that you want to plug into it, as well as a pair of headphones or an antenna or even your cable from your home, it uh, will work. It does have an ATSC tuner, so that means that uh, for all of the regions that have the DTV digital signal on UHF, it will work. Um, if you connect it to a cable television system that incorporates um, a QAM style uh, broadcast system, uh, it will receive uh, unencrypted QAM. And um, that's pretty much it for that. Um, there's a couple of small things in the specifications um, that may or may not necessarily be accurate. I, I know at least for my specific model um, there is one thing I'll point out. Um, it's specified on the back of this unit I don't know if you can see it or not, that uh, it's actually, uh, the power supply is DC, 9 volts, 2 amps, with a positive tip. It's a typical barrel plug, it consumes about 10 watts, and this specific machine was actually manufactured in 2009. Um, one thing I want to point out about this is that the included accessories that came with this specific model of set, which is the HLT71, is that uh, the power supply for the unit is in fact actually 12 volts. Uh, the set says it's 9. Um, what's included was actually 12. And also the included DC power cable, uh, should you wish to plug it into, say, uh, a power box or the cigarette lighter in a car or anything like that, uh, it too, in fact, is 12 volts. So, um, just to let you know, it says it's 9, but uh, <laughs> it's an actual LED 12. Um, the internal battery pack uh, on this device as well, I'll give you some rundown on the specifications. It is a lithium-based uh, battery. 
Uh, it's approximately uh, 2,000 milliamp hours. Uh, it's a flat pack. Um, its actual voltage for internal operation is 3.7 volts so it's not one of these uh, things where it's like 5 volts or 9 volts or something like that it's actually using a lot of different types of um, newer style low power electronics so uh, it's actually below the, the typical 5 volts uh, which would generally be required for something like this um, other small television sets uh, I had one previously which was a Casio and um, anyways it uh, ran up six volts internally was five it ran for roughly kind of the same amount of time but uh, there you go I kind of like having something that you can uh, replace the batteries in um, but you know with modern day types of power sources and things like that it's uh, probably just as convenient and uh, it can be driven from 12 volts as well without much uh, effort basically required. Um, I'll just go into some of the different types of uh, menus and things that are actually on this set. Um, you have to forgive me because it's kind of hard to operate a camera at the same time and actually go through some of the stuff. But uh, it's got all the usual style of features that you would commonly accept to find on a uh, modern day digital uh, television. Um, it's got a couple of different selections there. You can label your channels, it'll automatically scan, picture modes, audio. Uh, if you're receiving a digital signal, it'll give you the clock. Um, It'll do widescreen, narrow screen, closed captioning, and all that good stuff. But anyways, um, yeah, I can probably say that it is a decent uh, little television set. Like I said, the picture quality at the moment, I do not have the antenna up. Um, just give me one second and I'll do that. Makes a little bit of a difference when you uh, extend the uh, the antenna a little bit. <laughs> the uh, the broadcast here now at the moment I'm receiving uh, CBC CBNT, which is the off-air channel in my area on uh, channel eight uh, VHF. And uh, there's a commercial on there and things like that. But uh, yeah, it's uh, it's a dandy little TV. It's ideal if you like uh, camping or if you just want something to have maybe perhaps in your kitchen or you want to play a small video game on or use it as a monitor for uh, a, a camcorder maybe perhaps or you know something like that. It's um, it's a nice uh, it's a nice uh, machine basically. Um, I paid $50 uh, plus taxes and shipping and all the rest of the good stuff uh, for this particular model and uh, it does have a remote um, there is one thing the remote didn't work but uh, that's it um, I got it as a refurb um, you can buy these pretty much in many different places and stores in the United States and the typical uh, price on them goes for anywhere between 50 to hundred dollars depending on where you buy them. Um, I've heard some guys buying them in the states at places like uh, Target for as low as 30 bucks. So there you have it. Uh, it's a nice item and uh, I hope you appreciate my review of the HLT 71 hair um, compact liquid crystal uh, digital television set. Best wishes from Kenny to all my YouTube viewers and uh, all the best for the snowy weather. Hope you guys like it because we're getting it here in Newfoundland, Canada as well. Take care. Bye-bye.